Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Triani and today we're going to do a first impressions of Spuds Unearthed. It got released today and uh, I think it's a bit of a shooter, shooter strategy game where you can unlock different types of hero spuds and, uh, and upgrade them etc and uh, I think you've got free lanes to deal with type uh, like a MOBA a little bit thrown in but I don't really know so let's uh, jump in and find out well that's some uh, funky ass music right so what's this thing Interesting. So, no real indication to what to do here. Okay. Hold Y to recenter your position on the platform. Hold Y. Just got to remember which one that is. Okay, so I face this way. Let's move a little bit further back. Okay. Adjust your vertical position by using... Why supposed to be this low? I'm not sure. I mean... Uh, you can instantly rotate 90 degrees by using that, yeah. Uh, click the or on controller to change its mode extend your hands to reach further objects this mode is independent of each hand all right I get it well what did I just do there The galaxy map shows many different planets. Okay, certainly does. Some planets belong to other players while others are inhabited. All oh, right, yeah, I see a Lamillo over there. You can grab a planet and put it into your target slot to see more information on it so like if i grab that target slot means this right owner zombuds difficulty easy visual type lab impressioned spuds imprisoned spuds too okay Oh, does that mean I'm going there? Okay, cool. I haven't got a clue, but it's it's pretty exciting. Okay. All right. So to win, I gotta destroy the enemy's extractors or something. Be careful as with each destroying distractor the battle will get you get tougher. Uh, throw your hero spuds on the battlefield to use their abilities. Notice uh, Okay, notice their health and skill time meters. Um I would do oh, okay, right, so I've got like what three? pods here with nothing in them use turrets to support your troops all oh, right my spots are just coming out naturally all right okay to win you need to destroy the enemy's extractors at all costs yeah I know that uh, no it's well, just going through the thing again Oh, 
trying to shoot directly at the at them. Is there a way that I can upgrade things maybe? My spuds don't really look like spuds. Just saying. Is there no way I can upgrade stuff as well? Okay, there we go. It's kind of like wormsy in it like that little picture just there. So strategy shooting type game, okay. So I have saved two spids. Okay. So what gets me thinking is like, you can eventually upgrade stuff, right? Like, I don't know what that does. He gets it. No, I just I just stuck it on his head. Wait, it's not, I need to put this here, but not him, right? Oh. this working yet like I've definitely got this thing right and it definitely looks like it belongs there Missing something? Oh, have I got to put it into there? Where'd it go? Give me the thing you've got. Now you just want to hold on to that, okay. Uh, where'd he go? Wow, well, that just puts a helmet on and someone has already got a helmet on. Does that defeat the purpose? Alright, so now I can actually put that there. Oh, I like that. It's a good strat. 
Seems to do anything with you guys, though. Be like, nah. Okay. Well, let's go in. Can't do anything with this, can I? Because it almost looks like I can grab that. Okay. Now go back to the star chart and uh, find our next place. <laughs> There's like my little army down there. Yo. Okay, so uh, what's this then? Spuds to take over two, usual type refinery, abandoned. I don't know, let's just do it. Let's just do anything right now. Okay, maybe I can't do that. Uh, spuds to take over, five. Need a higher rank, don't I? Not sure. It says uh, abandoned or something. I don't know if that means anything. Didn't say levels though. Don't I? Rank 11. What? So let me go here, but it's rank 11. I don't know what rank I am though. I'm trying to look at my wrists, but I'm looking at my real wrists. I do know what time it is, but... I've done a lot of steps today as well. Always wants me to get nearer, doesn't it? I mean... Send my troops forward. Seems like I've got some sort of like thing kind of happening here. Because is this just me? To win, you need to destroy the enemy's extractors and all its forces. Oh, is it because like, I've not pressed through it all? Maybe now? No? too much hitting into my uh, workspace here. Thanks. Why does everything just seem bulletproof? Seems to destroy anything, right? I mean, what am I doing wrong? 
I know what. Uh, forces, extractors, blah blah blah. Yeah. It's the same thing as I read before. So are we assuming it's just to tap it on the old bug side or? What the hell? What did he do there? seems to be bugged, right? Hmm. No one's doing anything? Uh, that's odd. It is an early access game. So, but the thing is, is I can't even... Oh. Can't really do anything here. They can't kill my troops, I can't kill their troops. It's a very bizarre. Weird. I can't even shoot out of the planes, I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh, maybe I can shoot out the planes. Planes are shot at. Still not doing anything, are we? Right, I'm going to assume that this is just uh, dead in the water, right? So I'm going to. Uh, probably restart right so I've officially now played um, over an hour but the last recording didn't record which is a good thing because it wasn't to being extremely nice to me so mainly because I think I messed up somehow But we're going to play one more game of this and then I'm going to give my uh, official first impressions of it. See how we get on. Seem to always be in the same place. A lot that say abandon on them. I don't think you can actually get to the ones that say abandon on them, so that's kind of bad. Uh, could try this one. But like, rank 11, how do you know what your rank is and how do you bring up your ranks? Because I don't even got to see that. And I can't do anything there. When I try to change that, it won't let me change it. I think I can upgrade turrets later on, maybe, and etc. <laughs> the beta is live on Call of Duty. I know, loads of my mates have been playing it. They're all been going, where are you, bruh?
Ok, ça vient. Ah, uh, Vuk Cell wasn't even aiming at the planes there. Just lost sound for a second there, because I got a message. Clearly aimed at me. I'm so dead. Where did he go? Okay. Why? Oh, again. One of the problems I have is the buttons are in the same place actually, so I end up gripping this one when I want to grip the other one. And I'm just getting ripped from the side because this this is like level way too hard. And it's just the planet that really puts me with. Again, it's just gripping the wrong one, right? Damn, I threw that in the wrong place. Okay, look, you see, it won't let me grip it. Game over. What? <laughs> Because as soon as those two yellow bits like virtually are touching, the grip becomes terrible. Please wait. Oh. So it says I've got two spuds, but where's the second spud? I had spuds jumping around over here, now I don't have anything. So that's very confusing. I mean, what am I missing, guys? Read the tutorial again. Welcome to the world of spuds. Yeah, we know that one. Adjust your vertical position, know that one. You can instantly rotate. We also know I can rotate. Like so. Uh, click the on button to do uh, the hand kind of thing. Yeah, we know that one. Notice the big spud statue with the population count. Yeah, two. Where is my other one? I've got one. Yep, but in the spuds. There is one hero spud already living on this planet. The totem next to the, his house indicates his level. Well, that, if that's his house, how can I get him out of his goddamn house? You can catch the heavy spud by using LG and then place him on one of, yeah, I've done that. Notice the progression count at the front. Once you bring enough spuds to your planet, you will unlock new hero spuds. So it sounds really cool, but this game's just bugged for me. Yeah, I've done that before. You can select which turrets you want to bring to the battle screen. You will get a different turret option and collecting tokens from other planets. Uh, now you are ready to go to the base ship. You can scan and your hand to access the deck. Scan your hand. You can always run the tutorial again. I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, I've just gone through the tutorial again like, as well. It's a shame that like, you just don't put a menu button in this for the tutorial and then just have it there so you don't accidentally press it. Dude, I know you're in here. It, they were saying this is your house. You got like a rocket on it and everything, but I can't. And it also says what level. No, wait, that's your house, right? So, where's the other spud's house? It's supposed to be two spuds, right? Also, when you lift this, you notice all, they're all red. Well, there you have it. There is a Spuds Unearthed, and I had tons of trouble with this game. I have played about an hour and a half of it, and it just seems like I'm constantly playing super high levels, 
Um, I'm supposed to have two spuds, I only have one spud. I think something happened where the game just carried on playing, but no one was dying, no one was moving. Um, so definitely some issues and bugs uh, early on in this game. And I think I said at one point, I may have said at one point, because I don't know if it was in one of the videos that uh, you guys are going to see, but I think I said it, I think this is an early access. And I just looked on the store and I don't see early access. So I'm like, what? Why am I getting bugs like this then? You know, and why can't I progress? Why am I always looking at planets and they either say abandoned or rank 11 or something like that? And I can't even work out what rank I am, you know? So yeah, but I like the concept. The graphics are good. It's kind of cute. It's a uh, good strategy, good sort of like nice to have sort of like a MOBA kind of type thing going on as well. And there is a MOBA type thing. There is free lanes and you have to destroy these uh, reactors that could probably get a little bit repetitive after a while, but there is different scenes that could keep it alive. And obviously with your upgrades, it, you know, it'd be great. And you could even upgrade your turrets. So that's good. So this is kind of like a little bit kind of like that one with the bugs for me, you know? Um, I was using the Rift S, I might try it again on the index, maybe it would be a little bit more uh, better there, but the problem is, is I actually went into the game, I don't know, about five times, and every time I went into the game it sent me to the same planets, and the same planets were either abandoned or rank 11, and when I went into it it said like either two spuds or more, and I've only got one spud or something, because the other one's completely different even though I've got a population of two, um, and uh, I can't shoot those turrets to save my life at the planes at all. So yeah, uh, you know, after the first one, the first one was really easy and then after that it was just defeat, 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 defeat for me. I'm probably doing something wrong, but you know, I'm kind of like on the uh, edge on this. I, th I do think it's a pretty good game. It's a good strategy game and it's a game that I think I would really, really get into. You know, if I'm losing as well, I want to get back in now and wonder why, find out why and even try to get better at the game because I can't stand that. I, really really get the drive to get better and better at something like that but the bugs are a little bit kind of like nutty as well so that kind of drives me a bit crazy as well um, but yeah so I'm in an, in the middle of this so you please do your research on this and see what you you know see if this is for you and if you can handle some of the bugs on which I'm pro probably sure it's like day one so you know the devs have probably already got a patch coming for some of the bugs I've already mentioned and some of the bugs I've actually read which I haven't had experience, but some people have talked about their hands going missing as well. So yeah, if you like this video, please give me a like and also subscribe if you can, because it goes to the heart and also hit the bell button if you want to watch more VR content. And uh, yeah, I love you a long time. Ciao.